my experience of being stuck with a contaminated needle uh, was pretty anxiety provoking. You knew the potential outcome of how bad it really could be. Being a new father and having uh, an infant at home and, and uh, you know, it was, it kept me awake at night. My healthcare career started towards the end of high school. I took a CPR and first aid course, which uh, opened my eyes to the healthcare industry. I started working on an ambulance in an area where I grew up and just developed an absolute love for healthcare, EMS, helping people in their time of need. There were countless times in which being able to gain vascular access and having that reliability would benefit them in their condition and give them the best possible opportunities for survival, for leading a better quality of life. A lot of these patients lose their vasculature from shunting or from whatever the situation has occurred and you can't get a peripheral IV into them and having something as simple as an intraosseous device inserted into them that you know is going to work is immeasurable. The IO is drilled through the bone cortex into the bone marrow, which is a non-collapsible space in, that's connected to a vast network of vessels that can disperse the fluid medications and blood products to the patient. At the start of every shift, I should check out all the equipment, and every time I checked the drill, the IO drill, I was always wondering if it was the last time it would work, and the last thing I would want is for it to fail mid-procedure on a patient that desperately needed it. One thing that we had on the aircraft was a saying that two is one, one is none. We always had a backup to our primary because if that fails, you need something to go on because we're minimized with the amount we can carry. It's not a hospital where you can go to the next room and get it or have someone run to the supply closet and grab some. Having a reliable drill where I'm able to see the battery life in it on the battery light indicator is something that would give a lot of clinicians an incredible level of relief. The situations that I encountered working as a paramedic and as a flight nurse, we were in ambulances that we met on the ground at our landing zones. There were so many occasions in which we were climbing into cars, the patient wasn't trapped. So the chaos of working in EMS, sometimes you may not be able to find a sharp container that is within arm's reach. Any needle stick injury is one needle stick injury too many. I remember that feeling. I remember standing there looking at my torn glove, and uh, it's something that I hope no one ever has to go through. Having something that has a passive safety system involved would have helped someone like me. We built in a passive needle safety system which automatically engages as the operator is being removed post-procedure. It means a lot to have been able to work on a device like this. I've got very close friends and former coworkers that are still in the industry, and by being able to make a device that's gonna make it safer and better for them, makes it easier for me to put my head on my pillow at night knowing that I did the right thing for them and for the future generations who are going to work in a hospital or where I spent a majority of my career in the EMS sector.